Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, last episode, an invasion just ended. The Umiad have become perhaps slightly more powerful than they used to be. And we're, uh, we're gonna go start conquering some of Ireland <laughs> because we just really need land. Um, God. And yet, and yet, even with all of that, even with that huge, just insanely huge country, we're still doing pretty good compared to- we're still making more money every month than they do. Part of that is that their uh, expenses are high, but we have optimized our land so much fucking better than theirs. Okay, at least the revolt's done. At least there's that. Revolt's done. How did we just lose the Chancellor that we literally just got- He's incapable. He can still be my Chancellor if he's incapable? Okay, well, him incapable is still fucking better. Oh, you have food poisoning. You're just- You'll be fine! <laughs> God. Um, he's still better than anyone else I have. Uh, she's pregnant, but that can't be right. Uh, do I have paranoid? No. So she might have actually cheated then, but again, I don't care. So... Hmm. Not spending money on finding out. Call my current physician, though, because my son's apparently sick. That's not good. I really want him to live. He's he's pretty good so far. Just watch. He'll be like tough soldier or some low rank. Uh, who are you? You're also my son. Okay. Yeah. Ill treatment. Fucking great. Useless. Oh god. You excel at other things. That you know what stewardship. If he is, is what he excels at, I wouldn't mind the money. Father-in-law. Okay. What are we doing now? You're the east side. Oh, you've got a revolt. How big is this revolt? Not very. But your army's pretty pathetic too, so I'll go help you, I guess. Alright, well, I've got a bigger army out of one county than the entire opposing army, so I think I'll just park on them. Where's their capital? Uh, East Franken Revolt. That's their capital? What an, a weird place for it. Uh, you know what? I think our guys there will take care of that. I'll just park on one of their counties and see what happens. I guess, if anything, everybody knows we're really, uh, really honorable. Oh, we need, uh, Prince Edwarf the Fourth. Edwarf the Fourth. There we go. Prince Edworth, Edworth, Edworth. Sorry, it's hard to say that name. <laughs> it's just, I love it though. All right, so yeah, my eldest is not the one I'm voting for. Right, that's my other son, whatever. But good old Edworth the third. Yeah. What's the fourth? Yeah, the fourth, not impressive, whatever. You know, he's a redhead. These two kids are both redheads, and neither of us have red hair. I think she was cheating those times. Well, the one I'm voting for has brown hair, so maybe it's mine. Whatever. Alright, uh, we can... A famous writer proposes to... I mean, we've done this before, but sure, why not do it again? Whatever. Keep doing those militia training ground things. Gotta get a lot of troops. Where's our army? There it is. Well, we're just gonna park right there. Young Edward the Second. Uh, yeah, Edward the Second. I don't care about a whole lot. Could become temperate. Temperate's good. Uh, or he could gain wrath. Hmm. Hmm. Could be a good commander. What kind of education is he getting? He's not getting a military education. Temperate, that's better. It's better for uh, if you're going to be a steward. There we go. I'm putting my work in. I've already contributed more than the actual king. Okay, he's, he's sieging down their capital, though, so at least there's that. I'll just siege down this stuff, then. Their army can scramble to figure out who to go to. Monophysite faith triumphs. Uh, again? I'm pretty sure that's triumphed before and then fallen apart. 
All right. Uh, where does it want me to invest? Economic? It must be to invest economically. Uh, I don't really care about the level three fortifications. I do care about the next level of barracks and training ground quite a bit. And it gets my sit my castle tax up, which will mean more income from all my castles. So I can go level three barracks now, which is pretty nice, especially it's in these towns with these big keeps, it'll stack. More importantly, these training grounds. Even more morale, even more retinue size. Hell yeah. That's what I want to upgrade. The retinue especially is what I care about. Okay, so this is a fun random event. Uh, it's a pretty nice one if you uh, hate the leader you're playing as and you have a really nice air. So I can either start reading a book or take a falcon out for hunt. Uh, there's a 50-50 shot on either one that you'll either like it or dislike it. Uh, if you like it, then you gain one diplomacy along with the... Um, the associated trait. So it's just, you know, one diplomacy and other people with the same trait like you buy five more. If you fail liking one of them, you get to pick to either just become the other one, which again, being him a, becoming a poet or a falconer is virtually identical, or you have the choice to become depressed. If you have depression, you can commit suicide. Sometimes you'll fail to do it and you could end up in a regency, which sucks, um, by becoming essentially brain dead and in a coma. Um, but you could use this as a reliable way to become depressed to then commit suicide to then play as your heir if your heir is really good. What you pick between book and hunt, as far as I can tell, it may as well be completely random. It, it doesn't matter. Here we go. We can spend 300 gold, which is a lot. That puts us in a little bit of debt for a while. That sucks. We can get out of the debt reasonably fast, though. But, uh... We will have a claim on Dublin. I wouldn't mind having a claim on Dublin. I think I'll do that. We've got a claim on Dublin. Now, there's like a triple duchy down there that I'd kind of like to take. So I think we're going to start fabricating on that next. Because if we take two of them, we can make a duchy and then take the third. All right. Um, we got to wait until we have a little bit of money again, though. Which shouldn't take long. Our morale might be bad for a little bit. Give me a quill. Yay! We're an aspiring poet. Plus one diplomacy. Nice. God, our stats are so good. Especially our stewardship is awesome. Oh, it looks like another revolt broke out that I'm going to be called into. Cool. Awesome. You know, I've contributed enough to that stupid fight. I did my part. I'm going to go deal with my own stuff. Gain the trait poet. Nice. Or I can gain prestige. We'll gain poet. There we go. We did it. A diplomacy and same trade opinion up a little. Okay. We can disband those. Build up a little bit of money. Um, and Dublin. You don't have... Uh, you just have to... Yeah, you don't have any protection. Any real protection. They're a member of the defensive pact opposing the Umiad. Okay. Who the hell isn't? Um, yeah, I could just claim it. East Franco would join in with me if I wanted them to, which I don't need that. And these guys actually have a pretty big army. They're just tribal. Uh, it's almost all event spawned, which is fine. I could overwhelm them easily. How many ships do I have? Uh, I have one, but it says zero. Okay, it must have like just updated. So I have three ships between my vassals and myself. I do have a shipyard in my capital um, castle and that's just building ships right now. I might want to wait a little bit longer. Oh, I became stressed. Okay, stress sucks. Um, Intrigue and stewardship down, fertility down a little bit. Health down by one and that doesn't seem like much but you can die of stress. So you need to be a little careful. Um, I could send my retinue overseas as well. That'd be pretty powerful. Um, thing is, I believe every ship carries 100 soldiers, something like that. Let me, let me double check here. How many troops can you carry? Load capacity 100. Okay. So if we were to wait to get to our max amount of ships, which might take a year or two. Um... 
than, what is it, 6 plus 2, so we'd be able to carry over 800 troops. That's not enough to conquer Dublin. We'd have to do multiple trips, which I'm okay with, but... Uh, I wonder if they're paying upkeep on those uh, levies. Nah, their, gum, their, their money would be absolutely plummeting if they were, and it's not. Well, let's try new round done. Good. You want know to just send them in. The When the retinue got in there, I just massacred them. Yeah, get 70 gold. That was worth it. You know, I'm fine with leaving the retinue uh, on the coast now that they're reinforced. Here we go. He ransomed, ransomed to himself, got the money back. Here we go. And I also wouldn't mind just getting another shipyard preemptively. Really help those ships come back. Betrothed can marry. Uh, you're marrying a courtier? Yeah, sure. Just do whatever you were doing. I don't care. Congratulations. Are you guys not done this war yet? Finish it already. You're gonna slaughter him. I'm happy that the Umyad have revolts at least. That's nice. Leon prospers. Nice. Prosperity level 2. I'm surprised I'm not at prosperity 3 of my capital yet. I think it's those waves of disease we had earlier that kind of halted that. Uh, hold on. What's this? Righteous imprisonment on you. Why? You're trying to murder a prince. What's... Who... Who is that? You have no money, so if I arrested you, I wouldn't get any money out of uh, banishing you. Um, yeah, who is that? My uncle. I don't want you murdering my uncle. We're on good terms. I'm arresting you. You're arrested. Fuck you. If I banish you, I wouldn't get anything. Um, I'd rather you just stay in prison. Yeah, throw you in a hole. Go die. Yeah, I don't want to release her. Because then if I banish her, then she'll just go to another neighboring country and keep trying to plot. I'm not taking that risk. She probably wouldn't succeed, but you know. Edwarf the second? I don't really care about Edwarf the second. He's going to be a... I'm training him to be a steward. If he's a good steward, then maybe I'll hire him to my council. Uh, so I'm not going to give myself a negative trait by becoming bitter rivals with him and having him assassinate me. Or by lowering all my stats for like five years um, in an attempt to make sure that he's patient and not wroth. Yeah, he can learn on his own. If it was Edwarf the third, I'd consider it, because he's he's my heir. Oh, we're getting another one already. Yes. Uh, we need far less boats to conquer them. I accept. Now you have a good amount of troops, and it's mostly not event spawned. Hmm. Just kind of like picking off little bits and pieces of uh, Ireland here. So we've got to claim on Dublin and uh, Desmond. All right, we got to wait until we're in the positive on money again. We're making good money, though. Look at that. 262 a year. Be out of debt in no time. Oh, getting tech. It did that low sound effect glitch again. We got cultural advancement tech. Okay. Uh, level 3, we can increase our stats of women. That's a bit off, though. Which is a shame, because that's actually pretty useful. It really opens up the pool of people you can hire to your council. Majesty, short year, reigns down. Yeah, that is good. Imperial administration. Oh, I forgot I, I could have changed my laws a while back. I'm an idiot. Here we go. We're upgrading from feudal to late administration. Boom. Here we go. So we have new things available like this, which will change to that inheritance law at some point, but not yet. Uh, and it looks like we can just change this right now. Yeah, make it illegal for uh, vassals' titles to pass outside of my realm. There we go. So making sure I'm happy with my laws. All right, we're out of debt. Sweet. And one of my marshals became good with light troops. We do have a decent amount of them. Uh, lost... Uh, battle of oh it's my siege got taken out that's fine whatever 
Uh, I contributed a lot to that war. Yeah, I still have a decent amount of war contributions, so I'm not really worried about that. And my prestige is actually quite high. What's your prestige like? I'm not as prestigious as you. <laughs> to be fair, this guy is uh, the leader of one of the strongest emperors in the world, or empires in the world right now. That's pretty powerful. The Abbasid Empire is usually the strongest, though. Byzantine's pretty powerful at the moment as well. How's uh, Catholicism doing? Catholicism spreading east a little bit farther than it used to be. That's cool. Uh, Sunni Islam is really spreading up into France now. Pretty hardcore, but they haven't rooted out Catholicism from their own territory. Looks like there's uh, a lot of heresy going on over here. Some kind of Catholic heresy. Yeah. Cathar. What's our religious, uh, our moral authority is a hundred. Wow. When your moral authority is a hundred, uh, of your religion, heresy's pretty rare. Alright, uh, how many boats are we at? Still only at three total. God, that sucks. Those builds slow. Build like a boat a year or something. Good thing I'm working on a second, um, a second, uh, shipyard. Speed that up a little. Okay, this is just some Corteir. I'm not gonna risk my own stats for his education. I don't care. Shipyard has been built, sweet. No, we're not gonna instantly have a ship, are we? Oh, we do instantly have one new ship from it. Okay, so we can ship over 400 people at a time. Desmond has about 400 troops, okay. If we send over our retinue, uh, along with whatever else we can fit on the boat, we'll kick their ass, because they're going to be mostly light troops. Um, it's just kind of a thing with uh, with tribes. They tend to have a lot of light troops. He might have enough prestige to be able to call like a defensive uh, army to show up, an event spawn defensive army. I think we'll be fine, though. So I'm going to declare. There we go. I don't think I need to call him into this war. I think I'll be fine on my own. Uh, raise the fleet. Oh, five of them. Okay, that number is just sometimes wrong, I guess. They can embark. And then... I mean, I obviously can't embark this whole army. Yeah, it's too big. Am I even going to be able to get more people on these boats? Because I my armies are all too big. Wouldn't it need to be an individual army that's small enough? It's, what's your load capacity? You have okay, so you need two hundred and fifty more troops on there. Okay, well you're just a little too big. God, <laughs> this is okay. Um, what if I just do all of the? the yeah, that'll work. Okay, <laughs> we're just gonna do. All the vassal troops in the country. All right. Oh, well, no. That, that's actually too much. Well, load on all the guys that we can. Just bit by bit until it's too much. There we go. Beautiful. All right, we're boating over there. Time for a random overseas <laughs> war. Uh, I'd rather land him in someone else's land, honestly. Um, yeah. Have them land right there. There we go. Wish I could dock. Um, but yeah, we'll just land them nearby. Oh god, we're already taking attrition damage. We gotta get our morale up, though. Yeah, I can't build a fort because I don't control it. Um, education of Edward III. Oh, you can get a nice military education. Uh, that- okay, war is done, sweet. Move in there. Even with the attrition- yeah, this is a massacre. We're massacring them. Okay, yeah, they got slaughtered. Do we really not have enough people right there to siege them? We need slightly more. Yeah. 
Okay. Build a fort. Yeah. Spend a little bit of ducats and build a fort. Uh, just do... I guess that group would be fine. Okay. Load that onto the ship. Back up here. Prosperous, nice. Oh, another, and hey, our capital! Fully prospered, we're up to level three, which I believe is as high as it goes. That's really good. Local tax modifier up 30%, that's great. All right, get the backup in there because you guys don't have enough troops to siege it. There we go. There we go, beautiful. I almost wonder if I want to keep my retinue up there. I might want to, because at home I'm like super defended, whereas over up there, I don't know if like a raid is going to happen because they're tribal. So I might want to keep my retinue there. But yeah, this is, they don't stand a chance. They're, they're done. Yeah, that's all they have. We have lost Deceitful. I'm fine with losing that. It's not the biggest deal in the world. Hey, we can gain Deceitful back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it'd be so funny if we got it. But we got money, which is really what I care about right now, is making sure I can emergency hire people I need to. Okay, my son is- my- my eldest is actually Midas Touch, which is the best stewardship education. He's still not great. And we've officially groomed an heir. I forgot that was our ambition. Yeah, we have no valid ambition right now. Uh, all right, training grounds done. Nice. I forgot we actually need to do more training grounds, in fact, because we want to get that retinue up. That's a victory. Yeah, we got to siege down the other, the uh, the temple though. Uh, what is this? One day, passing by a monastery, you come upon a monk sitting and painting in a field. You observe his work and marvel at the composition, the colors. I don't think I've ever seen this one. Yeah, sure, I'll buy it. Maybe it'll lead to something cool. All right, I think we can go dock the ships. How much are we paying in... I don't know how much, actually, is levy upkeep for the ships. I don't think ships have a very high upkeep. They're just kind of a bitch to make. You should learn temperance. This is our third son. Or he could just become envious. Yeah, I don't want him to be envious, because then he won't like me. I want him to become temperate, because that's a good trait. There we go, put down the ships. How pissed off are my vassals getting? They're a little pissed. It's not a huge deal. Nice! Our eldest? Our, sorry, uh, oh, it's a court tear. For a second I'm like, oh, that's our, that's our son, it's gonna be our heir, brilliant strategist. Whatever, I'm still happy with you being a brilliant strategist, because I can make you a commander. In fact, I'm gonna appoint you a commander right now. Betroth Kamari, go for it. Yeah, go for it. All right, enforce demands, boom. This is ours now. What a weird random ass county. Yeah, we have the wrong um, domain type here. Um, we could just give this to one of our vassals and let him handle the managing of this domain. For it being the wrong type, it means we get less income from it. Not that we'd get much anyway. At the same time, we're loaded with prestige. We could upgrade the shit out of this if we wanted. In fact, if we wanted to directly manage it, we could make this feudal pretty quickly. Um, so it's already got a 1 in all of this. If we were to get any of these to a level 2, then they'd automatically become like a keep or a training ground or whatever. When upgraded to a castle. Like, I wouldn't mind this immediately being a keep or something. I could have this immediately be a training grounds, which would save me a good amount of money. But it does eat a lot of prestige. Um, yeah, I think I'd rather just... Uh, do I want to spend the money on upgrading it, though? Because the thing is, I need to get this to a level 4 fort to be able to make it into a castle and then make that a feudal county. Alright, split off the uh, retinue. Which would be, yeah, this one. And then you guys, you're in my land, so I can put you down, and then you'll go straight back to where you were. Okay. Um... So how do we want to handle this situation? You still have that big-ass army. I can call in an ally when I fight him. It's so weird that I also have this county in Southern Ireland. Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? 
It's absolutely beautiful. Huh. Never noticed that that's the icon for level 3 prosperity. That's pretty cool. It's got the crown above it just because it's my crown focus. All right. Um, Desmond tribe. Oh, it's so goofy that I have this random ass tribe up here. You know what? Spend a little money. We'll get that hill fort upgrading. Get them closer to, closer to feudalism. Oh, looks like the northern bit just got conquered. Who did this get conquered by? Tyrant of Scotland. Wait, who owns this? Moray. Oh, all of northern Scotland has been taken over by some little kingdom Moray. Well, chieftain, uh, by the high chiefess. Um, what rank is this even? That's a duchy. You're a duke who took over. And then the king of Scotland. Yeah, you can tell from the crown icon, by the way, if you're wondering how I figured that out. Like, this is the count crown. No, that's a duke crown? That's a duke crown, right? Yeah, petty kingdom is a duke or a duchy. You are a count, because it's just got, like, what looks to be pearls along the top. A duchy is above that, a duke. So that is this kind of ornate-looking crown. A king would be, like, what I have, where it's, like, what you think of with a kingly crown, where it's got, like, the the red uh, velvet. And then an emperor. Uh, well, it's got, like, that purple special one. But don't different emperors have different... Oh, no, they don't. Okay, if it's got, like, the the pink and purple super decked out in gemstone one. That's an empire or an emperor rank, which is the highest. Anyway, um, on the next episode, I probably take Dublin. Yeah, I can, I can probably pretty confidently take Dublin uh, next episode. Until next time, have a nice day.